Hello everybody and welcome back to today's video. Today I'm actually doing a requested video, um, mainly because a lot of people were like, wait, wait, wait a minute, we have a bunch of different resources you've done in the past that cover like the location displays, mile per hour, the plate numbers, engine status, so those resources were all split apart. Is there a resource that does all of this in one? So here we go, this is one that I found that actually released a few days, about a few months ago, remember? No, this month. I'm completely in the wrong time zone. Um, so obviously this was released this month, like four days ago or so, so obviously I was like, oh, hey, this is exactly what someone was looking for. Let's do a video on it. So anyway, what this does is it makes this really, really cool player location display, which tells you where you are, location, but it also tells you your plate number, the speed you're going, what gear you're in, and if your engine's on and off, which is literally everything in one that you could need. So really cool to have this. Um, pretty much all you have to do is go ahead and download the script from the GitHub page and drag it into your resources folder. So let's go ahead and do this. So uh, it's constantly being updated, at least for the last two updates in the last few days. Uh, so optimization update, great. So all you have to do is go ahead and click this source code zip file here and it will download the latest source code zip and just go ahead and open this. And then uh, we're gonna go into our server dash data folder, which is where we find our resources folder. And we're gonna go in here. If you haven't set up your server yet, make sure you set up your server first. We have lots of videos in the description on that. So make sure to take a look at them. Um, and then in here you can see, here's the files and everything. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and drag this into our resources folder. And we're gonna right click, click rename and copy the name, either right click and press copy or control C the name of it. Go back to your server data, server.cfg file and edit it with notepad plus plus, and then just add the uh, words ensure or start, depending on what you have in your list, the name of the resource. We're good to go. Um, obviously we can go into that folder and actually customize it to our liking in the config.lula file. So you can go ahead and change the locations. Should it use the metric kilometers an hour? Uh, do you want to display a watermark with your discord link? I don't, so I'm going to disable that. Should it use legacy fuel? Should it include postal code? So if you're using a postal map you want to set that to true should you show postals while on foot go ahead so it completely connects everything together which is really useful we can go ahead and start up our server now by double clicking our start.bat file and to make sure it started properly you're just going to take a look at your console here uh wait for any of your other resources to start up like i am doing myself here and you're going to see started resource the folder name um so you'll want to make sure you have that folder started before you get a name and there you go started resource a d-hud 1.2 so we know we're good i'm gonna hop in game and show you what it looks like all right we are in so obviously we have our location down there on the left hand side it shows us our nearest postal the location and everything and if we hop into a car uh you can see obviously it gives you the plate number the location uh the rpm the miles per h and if the engine's on and off so we know it has worked successfully um so hopefully this did help you understand how you can get all of them um like a super cool all-in-one type feature here um if you have a resource you want to learn about leave it down in the comments and i'll see you tomorrow goodbye